Hi, my name is Lauren Mix. I'm an eighth grade math teacher at Cesar Chavez, and welcome to our Proportion Olympics. We're in our proportion unit on proportions, and so I wanted to do a fun activity that involved them getting up and moving, um, kind of relating it to real world, but just for them to see how proportions can relate outside of a worksheet, per se. And it's, um, they're involved, they're interactive, and they seem to be having a fun time. It's by design um, just to get them going and moving because they're not in class all the time. They're sitting in a chair, not moving. So I wanted to come with a fun way that they can use their energy. Well, at Hula Hoop Station, they had to hula hoop and see how many times they could go around in, I think, 55 seconds. So then they needed to set up a proportion to see how many they could do in six minutes. So they're having to not only convert minutes to seconds, but they're also having to cross multiply and divide. Just like the hula hoop, they had to see how many they could make in a minute 25, and then convert that to see how many they could do in 15 minutes. This activity is important because for one, it's on the star test. Two, um, I'm trying to relate it to real world. For instance, unit rate, we've been working on going to the grocery store, figuring out which one's the better deal. That's the main reason we do proportions, just because that's one way they can really relate to it outside of school. Um, an activity like this adds to our learning because, for one, they're getting to use their energy. That's the main reason. Um, and also just for them to see another way that you can solve proportions without necessarily seeing it in a word problem like they're used to seeing. I try to tell the kids proportions are really important when it comes down to unit rate, for example. Going to the grocery store and seeing two items on sale, which one's the better deal? You know, break it down per one ounce or per one pound to see, you know, how much it is per pound. And I'll tell you. Um, by the end of the day, we will have close to 450 kids out here within the seven periods. And our goal is for them to be able to not only do the activity, set up the proportion, and be able to solve it to see how many they can do in the future. Thank you for joining our Proportion Olympics. My name is Lauren Mix, reporting for Cesar Chavez Middle School.